Amifostine, also known as ethiol vial, is used to reduce the risk of kidney problems caused by the anti-cancer drug cisplatin. It is also used to prevent dry mouth, a side effect of radiation treatment for head and neck cancer. It works by protecting healthy cells from certain chemicals and may also help repair cells damaged by cisplatin or radiation treatment. The recommended dosage and timing of administration should be determined by your healthcare provider. This medication is administered through a vein by a healthcare professional, typically 15 to 30 minutes before cancer treatment, as prescribed by your doctor. The dosage will be determined based on your medical condition, body size, and how you respond to the treatment. To reduce the risk of side effects, it's important to stay hydrated while using this medication, unless your doctor advises otherwise. Your doctor may also recommend lying down during the administration of this medication to lower the risk of low blood pressure. If you are currently taking blood pressure medication, your doctor may instruct you to stop taking it for one day before receiving this drug. Make sure to consult your doctor about when to resume your blood pressure medication. Some common side effects of ethiol vial include flushing, chills, blurred vision, dizziness, drowsiness, and pain, redness, or swelling at the injection site. Nausea and vomiting are also common, but your doctor may prescribe medication to help with these symptoms. Eating small meals, not eating before treatment, or limiting activity may also help lessen these effects. If any of these side effects persist or worsen, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because the benefits to you outweigh the risks of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, you should contact your doctor immediately if you experience fainting, fast-slow-slash-irregular heartbeat, muscle spasms, mental-slash-mood changes, or seizure. While allergic reactions to this drug are rare, it's crucial to seek medical help if you notice symptoms such as fever, swollen lymph nodes, rash, itching-slash-swelling, especially of the face-slash-tongue-slash-throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you're in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using ethiol vial, it's important to let your doctor know if you have any allergies or if you have a history of certain medical conditions, such as high or low blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease, or previous stroke. This medication may cause dizziness, drowsiness, or blurred vision. It's important to avoid alcohol or marijuana, as they can increase these effects. Do not drive or operate machinery until you know how this medication affects you. Limit alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you use marijuana. If you are planning to have surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, talk to your doctor about using reliable forms of birth control while taking ethiol vial with anti-cancer treatments. It is important to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your doctor if you become pregnant while using this medication. It is not recommended to breastfeed while using this medication, as it is unclear if it passes into breast milk and may pose a risk to the infant. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Don't make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor. If you are taking other products that cause drowsiness, such as opioid pain or cough relievers, alcohol, marijuana, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, or antihistamines, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. Also, check the labels on all your medicines to see if they contain ingredients that cause drowsiness, and ask your pharmacist about using those products safely. If you or someone else has taken too much ethiol and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the US, you can call 911 or your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call your provincial poison control center. 
Make sure to keep up with your lab and medical tests while using ethiol vial, such as checking your blood pressure and serum calcium levels. It's important to attend all your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. Make sure to take each dose of ethiol vial as prescribed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to determine the best course of action. You should only use ethiol vial under the supervision of a healthcare professional in a hospital or clinic setting. It is not meant to be stored or used at home. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA 1 800 FDA 1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada 1 866 234 2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.